Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Wastelands 2 Director's Cut. Now, my good friend the Fuax has informed me that I have should have put a point into intelligence and got it up to four. That was my mistake. I'm not particularly good at like the the character skill. These things here, the character section here, I, the attribute attribute points. I do wish that they had. I know there is a PDF file in the game, but unfortunately, to my knowledge, it is not easily accessible and sort of covers both. It covers both um, this game and the previous game, which is not fantastic. I'm going to go back and drop some stuff off. I've also been hinted at where I can find the code, which is cool. Because you either need a really high tech score to get into it, um, which is awesome. Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Citadel. Come in. Go over. ahead. 104 Echo One, got a call from the mushroom farmers over at Chitake Farms. Another report of crazy plant growth. They grow their crops in an old water pumping station over there, and it seems that the plants have turned it into a hellhole. Be advised, a lot of the folks over there are in the late stages of the infection. You copy? Copy. 104 Echo One, sending you the coordinates now. Take Ooh, it's down there, is it? Okay, and there was the shrine I was going to go to. Right, so that's changed my plans. So let's pick up the pace. We've got rad suits, so we should be okay. Oh, it's down here, is it? Right. Infected pumping station. Well, no, I just wanted to say, um, to cover some of the stuff I did in the last episode, about the, about the keypad I was trying to get into. Um, in Britain, we don't have letters in phone numbers. We, um, we just have like an, an area code which was like be like uh, a series of numbers before the phone number so we don't actually use letters um, so that I was getting a bit confused I thought it was a bit like how they used to do it with texting where you had to press the button a certain amount of times to get that particular like if you pressed it twice in quick access and you would get the first letter that's how it sort of works over here um, so I wasn't quite understanding how the system worked Got to dig that up. I need to keep for keep an eye on my weight as well. I might have to start dropping stuff. Some more shotgun cells. Right. So how is the weight looking? We're sort of okay. Just have to keep an eye on it. But no, I have been advised where we can find some interesting clues to get into the into the factory. Science has its place, but this is science gone wrong. Right. The pit they came from. The mushrooms. Ah, oh, no, it's happening. Okay, so they turned. That's worrisome. She's out of range. Okay. Uh oh, not good. Uh, we'll have to pull everybody back. We got melee fighters. I picked up the new guy who's a um, edged weapon expert, but he's probably not going to be that useful. Serious. Ooh, took lightning damage. I hope it's lightning damage. Yeah. Ouch. The gods smite me once again. I've got to admit, this lightning thing is not particularly fantastic. Or maybe me just standing in water isn't helping. Right. Let's go. Yeah. 
defense compound is filled with pumps, pipelines, and purifier for purifiers. This must have been some kind of water treatment plant before the apocalypse, but the damp and dark has lent itself to perfect growing for fungi. Right, we have to be careful here. Lots of narrow corridors. Yeah, that was what I was worried about, folks. I can see one just up here. So, this is the plan. You go here. You go here. The problem is I have lost one of my range units because I switched them out for a melee expert. And these guys are not fantastic at being done in at melee. So let's first just... Get a pot it off. Here we go. Set up an ambush. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them, is there? Okay. Fall back to the defensive line. Can't you crouch? Uh, okay. Ambush. Move up here. pop him like a very chunky bug. You can crouch. Move up here because she's crouching. And we'll set an ambush. And you guys can just stay back. Not being nasty, but there's not much you guys can do in this situation. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Nice shot. Just a tad in case one comes around the corner. Ambush. Move up to support. Ambush. Can we pop any of them? We can get that one up there. Beautiful. The Phoenix's high caliber bullet hits the pod person, affecting it, inflicting a 54 points of damage and causing it to explode. Beautiful. Pod people. Popped him, fires at the pod person, 28, 58 points of damage, causing it to explode. A nice rain of shrapnel. There's one person left, so we'll set another ambush. It's probably still going to be coming, so just, we just hold for a second. Here we go. I think this is the it's not the last one, is it? Okay, we'll just riddle it anyway. Ooh, missed. That's not good. Managed to get him off, though. Got the killing blow, pod person, the shotgun blast. Excellent. Okay. So there's still one up here somewhere, is there? Yeah, here we go. Just keep setting them for ambush. Or is it an ambush? Where are they? Okay. There we go. More infected pod people to deal with. He leveled up. No point. What's a, that's a shame. Right. Ooh, we can get him up the toaster level four weapon smithing 
because that means we could start putting some actual decent gear on. Because I haven't been able to attach any of these magazine capacity things, which would have been nice to have. Also, it means we can start taking stuff off other things, which would be very interesting indeed. I still have that heavy raider armor. Should give it to him, really. Give him a nice chunky combat boost. If I am going to use the kid, I'm going to have him wanting to have some decent kind of armor. Hopefully, he gets an additional AP from that. Questions. I'll throw it her way. Because she's got the least health. Combat speed drops a lot, actually. Uh, I might just hold on to it then. What's a character strength? Uh, not strong enough. He's strong enough for it, though. So it drops just by a little bit, not too much. Gives him a bit more protection. Right. Sorry about that. It's toaster repair or weapon smithing. Mm. So, what does this toaster expert do exactly? Trait. I'm interested. Toast expert. 50% chance of finding bonus loot when using toast to repair party wide. Yeah, interesting. Probably going to go weapon specific because it allows me to help customize my stuff. Right, there we go. And now it should mean if I want to, I can say take. that weapon, remove it, the spare clip that she's got, send it to him, he can go, of course I can attach this for you and go have this, and yes it has got a 1% that chance to jam, but it now has an improved capacity, which means we can suit it for a lot longer without having problems. We can also probably break down some of these things if we wanted to in case they have a decent high capacity small scope sturdy magazine. I'd like the small scope uh, Ooh that's nice actually let's try for that. Okay. Ah well. I'm sure that for parts as well. Not our day. Strip for parts. Okay, we can't strip that for parts. Strip for parts. Grip tape. Now that is something that I have been wanting. Because we can take his weapon, send it to him, and go attach it to that give it back to him and now it is an AP3 weapon rather than AP4 which is nice because it means he gets he can move and do some damage with it so people everyone's happy across the board everyone reload let's go ooh infected brains How pleasant. There's a chest over there. There are growing mushrooms, but you can see the infection has spread. We'll give it to him because he's not important. And if he grows sick, we'll be okay. 
that's knocked out. What's in here? Ooh, some bullets. Give her some sniper bullets. I think we're doing okay for sniper bullets. See, he's on 27, he's on 33. Right. The pumping berm of bleachers and hacks as the pump as that they pump. It sounds more like a death throes than a normal operation. Right. I got a bad feeling about this. Is there anything around? No. Uh, bullets. Some scrap. And he can take the medicine pouch. Would have been cool if the medicine pouch had actually given extra stuff, like to to healing. That would have been really awesome. Oh, there we go. The tower. Right, use. Here we go. Lily Corn has lost a dose of Ag Center vial, and the log has been updated. Monitor audio caused with an infection. We added Dr. Lawson's room to the hydrogen reserve at the infected pump station and stopped any further spread of the plague. Sadly, the residents did not survive. Okay. Now let's just push on salary people. It's not like we can do anything else. Right. Da -da 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 -da. We cleared that out. Right. I'm always worried getting ambushed on the way back. So we'll take care of this, then we'll go back to that shrine they told us about. Right. Once we've done that, we'll head back back this way. We should have enough water for it. Okay. Map. Where did we want to go? We're here and we need to go up there. I don't think we can get up there. Not yet. If we do, we definitely need to refill our water supply. down here quickly. Are we in the right area? Oh. Excuse me a second folks. Sorry about that folks. Um, yes, so we're here. Well, okay, we've already been to the shrine. Okay, that's fine. I thought we'd missed it, but we're not. I'm going to quickly make a break back to the cap back to base camp, drop some stuff off, get the stuff we need. Okay, let's attack them. Having a quick sip of water. So, what are we looking at? Yeah, so it's just raiders, okay. Wrecker cutters, right. Uh, go over there. You guys stay back. Uh, we're already engaged. Didn't see that person there. He's going to try and get into cover and shoot us out. He's going to charge us with that little knife of his. So, how many have we got? Four? Okay. First off, she needs to get here because there's actually some basic cover. 
Not enough AP. Okay, that's the same. He's got an assault rifle. That's bad. Right. Cornish needs to get up into cover. Put his bullet into him. Oh, Lord. Cornish Knight inflicts on the record gun of 94 points of damage and blasting him to chunks. You weren't kidding. Right. Into cover. I'd actually like to try out the new guys, so I'm just going to hold at Ambrus for now. Just because I'm like that and I'd like to see what they can do. Right, so let's go and give him a whack. 16 points of damage, lovely. Okay, new guy, it's on you. Let's see what you got. Self-defense. 27 points of damage. The go slice me with his little knife for 4 points of damage. And Volker's Cry did him for did the other guy for 117. And we'll just finish him off. There we go. Nice. Call it in. There we go. Everyone got a nice bit of a boost. So, three skill points. Uh, perception. Assault rifles probably be useful. Leadership. I'm going to keep putting points in the hard ass just in case Axie does turn out to be useful. Oh, he can't. He hasn't got enough skill points. Okay. Let me guess his character intelligence. Uh, no, his intelligence is fine. Uh, he hasn't got skill points. He does, though. Right, so he's got three. What can we put it into? Shotgun. Mechanical repair. Brute force. I probably need to get up. Because I haven't got any of my party that can do that anymore. That can, except for him. Can he do brute force? No, he's a demo expert in, bl in bladed weapons. Right, so probably brute force would be useful for him. Get that up. She's got seven. She hasn't got an intelligence point or perks. Seven points. Right. So what can we get for her? Outdoorsman, perception, snipers. Probably want to go perceptions for us to actually find things, which would be nice. Right, then we'll save the rest of her points. Nobody else? Nope. Okay, let's grab some stuff. Actually, can, uh, she goes and gets that. Is there anything else? Is that bloke over there who was an idiot? Tool belt. That. Right, is there anything else? Anything at all, or can we just head straight for the exit? Exit it is. Oh, I thought that was the exit. So, where's the exit in this place? Oh, it's back the way we came. That's good to know. Nothing of interest. Right. Back to base. We'll sell all our junk check out the head of the museum, because that's basically the clue he gave me, which is cool. In we go.
guys are back at base camp. Top of her water supply. Uh, we're going to sell a lot of junk. Trade. Right, sell a lot of junk. Yeah, including infected brains. So do we have anything left? A few bits and pieces. Lots of TNT, which is nice. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Quickly run in here. Impressive. Welcome back, Keiko here. Top notch running things up in the rails now. Let's hope they can keep their trains running by themselves. Right. Right, yo. So, where do we need to go? Probably to the museum first. Not the fan of mushrooms myself, but saving saving Shiitake farm was a heroic deed regardless. Right, let's talk to him. Man, uh, now he's gonna give us a tour. So this is the head, is it? Fix an eye scratched into the science fix an eyepiece is the word protest. Protest. So that's I since it's we need to spell out the code. I'm suspecting that's probably the piece, the word that we need. Just jotting it down so I can remember it. Radio. Excellent. Is there anybody else we need to talk to? Uh, medic, probably not. So, I've got to quickly chuck in the stuff I want to sell. Yes, that's better. Right, makings. So, who's carrying them about? Is it him? Yeah. Right, chuck in the makings. I don't know what we're supposed to use turqu uh, turquoise for. But I'll hold on to it. Mm, probably someone wants to toast. So besides that... Ooh, nice bladed weapon actually. It's better than the one that he's got. If I don't pick, he's got a pickaxe, which is so getting in that would be nice. Ah, uh, coach gun. Not as good as the one he's got. Picking up small bullets, or oh, sorry, wrong terminology, rounds would be useful probably. For my snipers, any least. So we'll grab. 10 for him. Eleven for her. How many has he got? 121, that's fine. She's got plenty of ammunition. I could probably actually sell off these guns. So we'll sell off that. Do you have anything else we don't need? Ah, these ones, here we go, yeah. Sell those off. Do 
150. I'll hold on to them in case we actually need to use the silly things. You never know when you have to, may need to pull one of those out of somewhere. Right. So, what do we need to pick up? We need to pick up that knife for him. Because that would be useful. Indeed, it will be very useful. Right. Goodbye. Damn, look at that guy's guns. I could still take them though. That should work. What's this? Ooh. We must have left it. Right. Go in here. Yes, what can I do for you? You knew we were coming. Every new recruit the general brings in gets around to visiting us eventually. The weapons and armor we make are what keep them alive, after all. Most are curious where they come from. I imagine you're no exception. You make weapons here? Well, that's a bit of a misnomer. We do make some of them, the really interesting ones. But mostly what we do here is refurbish scavenged weapons and armor. One thing we hope our rangers will do is collect any broken down weapon parts, stray bits left over from modding, what have you, that they find as they patrol the wastes and bring them back here to Melson over in the quartermaster's office. In exchange, he'll buy it off you at a great markup. Interesting weapons, I'm interested. Huh. <laughs> the interesting ones are my department. I'm always trying to come up with new and better weapons and armor using bits and bobs we have lying around. Can't just give them away though. Creating them takes a lot of our precious resources, so the general is pretty tight with the requisition orders. What have you got for Some us? Some very nice pieces. Let's see. Hmm, not seeing anything allocated for you, Rangers. Sorry. Thanks for visiting, right. recruits. Come by any time. I and wonder go see if she's Sergeant making some kind of monster killing blade. Nah, I don't know if I should buy stuff from him or not. I don't want to get in trouble with my boss. Welcome back to Ranger Citadel, recruits. Right. So you handed Rail Nomad to the Topekans. Makes sense, I guess. They're definitely in better shape to get the trains running again. But it was a pretty brutal fix, Rangers. I know the Atchisons had been resorting to vile measures lately. But their cause was just, and now they're gone. Wish you could have found another way. We entered Darwin Village, we discovered a group of crazy hostile mutants. Uh, I don't know if we should report proud, don't know if we should report that it's to him yet. To meet you, General. The Rangers are righteous. Why thank you, son. Back again, recruits. What can I help you with? Thank you for cleaning up the leave live up mine, Rangers. That mine has called the save air con conduct was exemplary. Alright. Good luck out there. Right. You'll be hearing from us. So where's our uh, the ammunition dump, where did I leave it? It's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I want to check out the facility first. I don't want to go, oh look, there's something here, and then it turns out to be nothing, and I look like an idiot. Because that's not something that I want. It's locked, sorry rangers, only authorized person now allowed into the brig. Curses, okay. Right. We've got plenty of sh excrete her for you. Where is it? So that's... who had the last piece of... someone else had a piece of it as well. There we go. So what has he got? Just rocket launches and grenades. Good sit, brother, good sit. Keep it coming and I'll keep paying. Right here. What fun stuff do you have for sale? Ah, oh, that's, that's just going to be some inventory. Isn't it? Clear out the mines of explosives. Ah, that word bubble's got locked in place. That's going to be annoying. Doubt she's going to be out there, our old associate. People basically told me that we were going to lose it anyway, that's why it was worth grabbing someone new. 
So if it, he was basically, ah, there's Scotsman, he's gone back to base. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Right, yep, mm. yep, thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. She got the passcode. I want to report out what's going at the actual facility before we report into it in case we in case we basically lock ourselves out of a story option, which is not something that I want to do. Um so we'll get back where we came. This is probably gonna be a good place to stop right now, just because it means and we'll pick up I'll what I'll do is next episode I'll quick travel to Darwin Darwin's um well Darwin Village which is up here and then we'll start it from there so we can jump right into the action without you having to watch me basically trudge all the way back around. But for now, I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter, on Steam, or leave a comment in the comment section as we press forward on our merry little hunt. With the six of us, well, sorry, the seven of us, and uh, a cow and a goat. A very strange party indeed. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.